So my name is Guy Massery. I'm an ophthalmic plastic or oculoplastic surgeon. I'm from Los Angeles. I trained at the University of Southern California as an undergraduate and medical school. And then in the Midwest in St. Louis and in the East Coast in Manhattan uh, for my uh, residency and fellowship training. And then came back to Los Angeles uh, 18 years ago to start a practice here. As an oculoplastic surgeon, uh, what that means is cosmetic and reconstructive surgery of the eyelids and surrounding areas, such as the forehead, eyebrows, and middle face. And as I said, I focus primarily on aesthetic or cosmetic surgery in that area. Cosmetic or aesthetic surgery is kind of separated into general plastic surgeons that operate from head to toe. That means the face, the nose, the body, the breasts, the hands, etc. That's a lot to do and there's volumes on text of textbooks on every one of those subjects, so it's hard to master everything. Then there's facial plastic surgeons. And those are people that are head and neck or ear, nose, and throat trained who went on to do facial plastic surgery. And they deal with eyes, foreheads, nose, facelifts, etc. But what's oculoplastic surgery? And that's the crux of what I do. Um, and that is people or surgeons that specialize only in surgery around the eyes, the foreheads, the eyebrows, and the middle face. They are uniquely qualified to do this because the training was ophthalmology or studying the eye first and then plastics in that area. And on the face, you can't afford a problem with your eyes because it affects your primary sense, which is vision. And also, you can't hide it if it doesn't look right. So oculoplastic surgery is so interesting because there's a whole reconstructive end to it where you deal with tumors of the eyelid, tumors of the orbit which encase the eye, fractures of the orbit, and all kinds of reconstructive procedures of the eyelids, such as eyelids that are drooping and block your vision, eyelids that are flipping in and flipping out. Although this doesn't seem like a common problem or malady, it actually is very common. And that's how I was classically trained. But my primary love and interest is in cosmetic or aesthetic surgery of the eyes, eyelids, and the areas around it. I have the great fortune of being able to train physicians in this, to lecture nationally and internationally, to travel a lot, um, to write books on the subject with some incredible colleagues, devise new procedures. And because I get to do all of that, it's so holistic that I truly enjoy what I do and I've been blessed to be in this position. Okay, so here are the four major aspects of my practice. I see patients, I teach and train, I lecture, and I write. And the writing is both peer-reviewed scientific papers, and textbooks, and I've had the good fortune of working with tremendous colleagues around the country um, on this aspect of my practice. Probably the most difficult yet rewarding part of my practice is on what I call revisional cosmetic or aesthetic surgery. These are patients that have had surgery and it didn't turn out the way they wanted. Now, it could be that function was altered, they can't close their eyes, their vision's affected, they have dry eyes, or they just don't like the way it looks. But here's the kick. It's very, very hard with eyelids to recreate what a patient had before. And while I feel terribly for these patients, and I sympathize with them, and many of them actually have been through a post-traumatic event and are very emotionally affected by this, my most important job is to present what a realistic expectation is, and in the most kind and considerate and understanding way, come up with a plan that could make them better, but only proceed if I can meet what their expectations are. That's really what it's all about, because if I can't, there's no reason to put someone through more surgery. So revisional surgery or redo surgery is a specialty within itself. Um, the eyelids are so complicated and they're so thin with so many layers that there's not a lot of room for error. That is the primary reason that it has to be a super specialist that does cosmetic surgery in this area. I see people from all over the country that have had eyelid surgery and are unhappy with their outcome. Some are unhappy with the appearance and some are unhappy because the function of the eyelids has changed and it creates them a lot of discomfort, affects their vision, their ability to close the eyes, uh, has induced dry eyes and other symptoms. Some of these can be very complex repairs and it really requires a lot of experience and you really have to know what you're doing and having, and having been there many, many times, you have to understand that the success to surgery is not just what you do, but the expectations that the patient has. In these scenarios, 
a patient has to understand you can't always put Humpty Dumpty back together like Humpty Dumpty was before. You can improve it as much as it can be approved, improved, and that has to be okay with the patient or else it makes no sense to do any further surgery.